we're going to just begin with some happening. Bringing the palms together. Taking a few breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then begin breathing in and out through the nose. Closing your eyes if you haven't done so already. To really pay attention to the texture and temperature of your hands. Listening to the sound. And if you would even bring up your hands towards one ear, really listen to the sound. And then bring it towards the other side. And then bringing the hands back down towards the center in a restful way. So again, moving up towards the wrists. And then Slowly opening your eyes to watch your hands in front of you, keeping your eyes nice and soft, very, very soft. Really allowing your peripherals to remain open so that you're not really focused on your hands, you're just noticing them. And remembering to not suppress any yawns, tears, digestive shifts such as passing gas or burping, allowing it all. Knowing that tingles and waves of heat or coolness, goosebumps, things like that, it's all very normal. And it's actually a really good sign that there's some shift happening where you're discharging survival energy. So just stay with me. But if for any reason you feel anxiety increase, if you're facing anything like that, I just want to invite you to come into a self-holding hug with a sway. Begin moving the happening up your arms. And as usual, you can choose to stay on one side or do both at the same time. If you do one side and then the other, feeling free to just kind of Oscillate between the two in an organic way. Spending a little time on the left and a little time on the right. Just moving back and forth.
Begin just moving up towards the shoulders and upper arms. You can keep your eyes soft and gently open or go back to closing them. Beginning to have an across the upper torso, and the collarbone and neck. <sighs> and if you would begin to posture your heart into a place of loving kindness, just really choosing to do this in a loving way, in a kind way. Almost like you're just saying hi to your heart, to your physicality, to the moment with the Lord. Sometimes when we get still and we're acknowledging our own hearts and bodies, all of a sudden it seems like there's just a lot of pain. And I want to reassure you that that's also normal when we're living in so much chronic stress and just Go, 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 busy, distracted, and numbed out. As soon as we start to pause and become present, the body is right here saying, hey, this hurts here. There's pain here. There's something here. It needs loving kindness and attention. And so I want to invite you into just being with whatever comes up. If you notice that it becomes overwhelming, like if your heart is hurting a lot, then you can just lay on your side and just be here. Allowing yourself to stay with what is, but also allowing yourself to rest a little bit. Begin moving down towards the lower torso now. Rubbing the belly. And again, really inviting loving kindness. So much of us still have a lot of just programming around our bellies, around our midsection being inadequate or shameful in some way. And in this time, I just really want to invite you to be kind and perhaps even bless this area of your body, blessing the part of you that helps you survive by digesting all your food, by giving you butterflies in your stomach when you're nervous or excited or maybe even feeling the inner twisties when you feel something's off just being thankful for this area of the body that does such a good job through all the hard work that it does blessing this area thanking this area Moving down towards the hips and the upper legs.
And as you're traveling towards your legs and your hips in an organic way, just allowing your hands to continually move over the surface of your body. I want to invite you to increase your gratitude even more by just praying to the Lord a few things you're thankful for. Just thanking him for whatever your heart wants to thank him for. Feeling free to have in the lower back as well. And then begin giving your feet some attention. You can, if you would like, make it more of a massage versus happening. If you want to add any pressure, maybe giving your toes a squeeze. 